Hey YouTube, what is up? And welcome back to tutorial number 42. And in this tutorial, we're just going to talk about checkboxes and radio buttons. So if you guys don't know what checkboxes are, well, let me just clear this out first so we don't need that anymore. If you guys don't know what checkboxes are, then they're basically like on off toggles. So when you click it, then like a tick will appear in the box and that means it's on. And then if you click it again, then the tick disappears and that means it's off. And if you don't really understand what I'm saying, then let's just go ahead and make a practical example on the screen real quick. So let's say we were making a website where we wanted the user to select different sports that they like. Then we can just go ahead and add in a heading three at the top and just say select the sports you are interested in and then below that we'll obviously have all of our inputs so let's just go ahead and say input and here's where it gets different because instead of saying type equals text we now say type equals check box box there we go and then we have to add in a few more attributes over here and one of those attributes is the name and we can just name the sport and the reason why we give it a name is because it groups all of our checkboxes with the same name into a group so you'll see now I'm gonna add in more than one input um, and then we'll set a value so this value needs to be uh, anything we want really so let's just say football and then the label will add a label next to it just so that the user know what the user knows what the input is for ending label and we just say uh, football and we might as well say over here for Ah, for football which actually means we have to go ahead and give an ID to our input as well ID equals football now I actually typed uh, all of this on one line so let me just I typed all of this on one line if I go ahead and I click word wrap then you can see it's all on one line now instead of two lines and if I uh, but just so that you guys can see I'll just wrap it again so you can see everything that I've written here and now we can probably go ahead and make quite a few different instances of this so copy paste and now what we'll do is we'll leave all of these as type checkbox and we'll leave all the names as sport now this means that all three of these input elements are grouped in a group which is named sport and then the value can change so let's say this one was for rugby which is a very popular sport where I'm from and we'll just give it an ID of rugby and then we'll say over here for rugby and then the next one we might as well include the Americans in this and we'll say baseball and uh, baseball okay and hmm, ah, what did I do wrong baseball yeah okay I see what I've done here the second one I just need to change that to rugby as well so this is probably kind of confusing let me just go ahead and space this all out uh, cool okay so these are the three different input types and then there's three different labels maybe I should just hit the labels onto new lines as well okay so we've got an input box of type checkbox and then a label next to it that says football and this is for the football checkbox and likewise rugby for the rugby checkbox and baseball for the baseball and we need to change that to baseball 
that's the problem with copy paste is you always gotta land up like changing all these random things and sometimes you forget anyway so let's go ahead and uh, run this in Firefox and as you can see we now have a form where we can the the user can now select the sports they're interested in so if they're interested in football they can go ahead and say football and now you can see it's ticked which means now football is on and if you go ahead and untick it then that means football is off so the nice thing about checkboxes is the user can select as many as they want so they can say that they're interested in football rugby and baseball and all of these can be on and if they only want you know football and baseball then only the two of them have to be on and if they're not interested in anything then they can all be off so it doesn't really matter but sometimes we might want the user to select like almost like a checkbox but it must they must only be able to select one option so let's say they only want to select okay you ask them if they want to be on your mailing list then they can select yes or they can select no but they can't select yes and no you don't want them to select both in that case we actually use something called a radio button so let's just go ahead and we'll just put that all underneath here I'll give myself a little bit of space to work okay so we'll bring our trusty H3 back here again ending H3 and we can ask them would you like to be on our mailing list so now every time you know they might want an email about football or rugby or whatever they're interested in we can then send them a mail if they tick yes and if they tick no then we don't send them a mail so uh, what we'll do now is add in an input but now instead of being type checkbox we use type radio just radio and then we name this uh, mailing list or list we'll just name it list and then we'll also just give these uh, this a value of yes for if they want to be on the mailing list then it'll be yes and we might as well just give this a label here so label uh, we'll just say yes and then for yes Oh yes, and uh, we have to give this an ID now of yes because the ID and the for is what links the label to the input box and then we can go ahead and copy this control C control V and then this would just be no no and no okay and the reason why we gave these two a name is for the same reason of the checkboxes these are now grouped together this input and this input are all grouped together in one group for list and now that means that if the user selects yes then they can't select no and if they select no then they can't select yes so that like in other words they can't select both of these radio buttons and uh, let's just go ahead and let me show you this in Firefox so now we have our first thing where they can select as many as they want and it doesn't really matter but when you go down to our mailing list they can only select yes or no so you can see as I click no then the one in the yes disappeared and when I click yes then the no disappears so over here they can only select one radio button they can't have two so that's pretty much the difference between check boxes and radio buttons and that's all I have for you guys in this tutorial so stay tuned for the next tutorial where we will probably be going over select or yeah select lists or drop down menus 
and uh, that's all I have for you guys so see you guys next time don't forget to subscribe please feel free to leave a comment and if you found this video helpful then please go ahead and click like because it's really gonna help my channel grow so thank you very much and I'll see you guys next time